yeah this poem is about really serious issue it's about an illness that i have which has afflicted me and i feel as though i have an obligation to raise awareness about it to all those suffering from around the world so if you could please just take your time to listen if you feel like you can relate share it because it's extremely serious um this is a story about how i went to see the doctor Doctor, doctor, I got an embarrassing problem I'd like to discuss with you. Do you mind if I shut all of the doors and close all of the windows? But please listen carefully before you pass judgment and tell me what you think though. But I think I got the black man syndrome. He said, hmm, you wouldn't be the first victim. So when did you first start experiencing the symptoms? Well, I was walking to the supermarket the other day. I'd been working all day and I needed a breather. Kinda hot outside, it felt like a heater. So I went to grab a bottle of Coca-Cola, not from the freezer, but froze. When I saw a bottle of cola, about the same liter, but 50p cheaper. The urge was so strong, I tried to ignore it. But in the end, I picked it up, went to the till and I bought it. It's the first time. Next time it happened, I tried to fight it. But went shopping and came back with an Abby Best bag, a Gucci belt and Reeboks with a night tick. I even applied for a cleaning job, the night shift. He said, hmm, also symptoms of African man nitis. And I was at the bus stop the other day and I realised I left my travel card at the estate. But rather than go back because I wasn't even late, I just had an old one and I held it like this. With my two fingers covering the date. And I felt proud. And everywhere I go, I ask for a student discount. I even started turning up to birthday meals late. You know when everyone's finished eating, so you don't have to order food and you don't have to pay? I started sending text messages from o2.co.uk or I messaged people on Facebook like, I beg you call this number and tell that person to phone Sully back if that's okay. Doctor said, yes, that's definitely black man syndrome from what I assess which can lead to gun crime, knife crime or even death. Doctor, doctor, please help me. So what do you suggest? Wait, my son. I still need to run a few more tests. Do you sometimes feel like the whole world's against you but you couldn't care less? Yes. Do you sometimes feel like you're destined for success? Yes. Is your hair more nappy? Your nose and your lips a little bigger? Like you're a direct descendant of your ancestors who fought because they called them a nigger. Do you now feel more part of what Malcolm and Martin fought for so we could be richer? Part of something bigger? Do you suddenly feel fresh without a shirt or a tie? Does this blackness make you feel unremarkably, outstandingly, unexplainably fly? Is this disease of being black make you feel so much slicker? Make you want to do what you're saying boat and run so much quicker? Yes! Then you do have black man syndrome, my son. And there's only one cure for that. Is to put your fist in the air and be proud to be black. You thought that my pride.